We begin with the breaking news in the attack in Central Park this morning. Police just wrapped up a news conference. A jogger was sexually assaulted in the woman in the Central Park of uh, the southern part of Central Park this morning. Police investigating whether it's linked to another attack 45 minutes later on 103rd Street. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live at the park right now with new information. Alice. Police are working to determine if the two alleged assaults are connected. They just wrapped up that briefing a few moments ago. They held it actually right here at the scene of this morning's crime in Central Park. Police tell us they arrested a 38-year-old man after the FDR incident. Sources identify him as Howard Shaw. He has two prior arrests for rape and robbery and was just released two days ago. At approximately 7.20 a.m. this morning, a woman in her 20s reported being sexually assaulted in Central Park as she walked on a footpath near Swan Lake behind me. The victim of the assault was taken to a local hospital for treatment. Police spent the day along this path, close to the pond and Central Park South, not far from busy Center Drive and the Woolman Rink. It was taped off to the public as they searched for evidence. It's where a woman in her 20s was jogging this morning around 7.20. The NYPD says she was knocked to the ground, choked, and then sexually assaulted, briefly losing consciousness. Then they say about 45 minutes later, another report of a sexual assault, this time at 103rd Street near the FDR. A suspect was taken into custody a short time after that alleged attack. Police were working all day to see if there was a connection between the two attacks, checking for video. There are cameras around the border of Central Park. At this time, we'll just say that we have two separate sexual assaults, but we're not saying that the MOs are similar. No, we're just saying we have two separate assaults and we're investigating both, but we are exploring all angles at this time. The NYPD put up posters in the area of Central Park where this happened, searching for tips as people continue jogging and walking nearby. I was just walking through this way yesterday, shooting pictures of the birds. It's very shocking that it happened here. Sad, devastated. It's a lot of families out here. It's a lot of it's a friendly place, so just to see something like that here is devastating. So we never want to see that happen, you know. And we tell people, you know, just be aware of your surroundings. And that's horrible and terrifying, um, and definitely does make me think twice about coming in here when I'm not surrounded by a lot of other people. Um, but then again, like it's New York and scary things. You're always hearing about scary things happening. Police say the Central Park victim this morning was able to leave the immediate area herself. She flagged down some people who called 911. She was taken to a local hospital. Police say the investigation is ongoing. They will have a Crime Stoppers van parked out here in this area in Central Park tomorrow morning. So if you have any information on this case, you're invited to come by and talk to them. Live in Central Park, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you. And now